I would invite you to turn with me in your Bibles to Zechariah chapter 6. Remember uh, Zechariah sandwiched between Haggai and Malachi? The uh, quick way to find it is usually to turn to Matthew and then go two books back. And you will immediately find Zechariah. Zechariah, which is the longest of the minor prophets. Now to remind you of what you already know, I know, uh, Zechariah was a prophet, a young man who was sent uh, to continue preaching the word of the Lord after Haggai the prophet had been sent. And Haggai and Zechariah's message dovetails perfectly. Haggai particularly was zealous to wake the people up. They had been returned to the land from exile after 70 years in exile in Babylon, they had been restored to the land, but the temple still had not been built when Haggai was preaching. The work had started and then it had stopped again, and the Lord wanted to stir them up. He said, what are you doing paneling your houses, doing home improvements when my house is in ruins? And then, of course, we remember that he had given them precious promises that the nation would be restored and then, most importantly, he referenced that promise about the coming of the blessing to the nations, that the day when the branch, Jehovah Sidkinu, God our righteousness, Emmanuel, God with us, would come to his people, was just over the horizon, that it was coming quickly, that they needed to be ready for it. So they needed to be up and working. And so he sent them a message first of chastening through Haggai, and then a message of encouragement through Zechariah. And we're going to read uh, one of the greatest promises in the Bible today as we look at Zechariah chapter 6. But before we do that, let us turn to the Lord who gave us this word and let's ask for his help. O oh, sovereign Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are so gracious to us, so good. You provide for all of our needs. Most importantly, Lord, you provide for our spiritual